Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is how discovery of cytokinin took place. To understand that, we must know what is the bioassay. Bioassay is a particular test done to check the role of particular chemical. Bioassay for cytokinin is known as tobacco pith culture bioassay. Skoog and Miller they did an bioassay or a test which is called tobacco pith culture whereby they took tobacco plant, they collected internodal cells of tobacco plant which is nothing but pith tissues. Pith tissues were grown in an artificial medium where they used auxin which is a phytohormone. When auxin was mixed with other extract, they, they observed that pith cells proliferated. They started uh, dividing and started forming a mass of undifferentiated tissue called callus. What was the extract they mixed? Along with auxin, they mixed vascular tissue extract, yeast extract, coconut milk, DNA. Later on, so any one of these, later on they identified this, identified that uh, Miller, uh, Miller identified that it is the substance present in this is kinetin. Kinetin they were able to isolate from herring fish sperm. As you know sperm contains DNA. DNA of herring fish, uh, they purified DNA from that they isolated kinetin. Purification is called autoclaving. Kinetin was found to be amino purine derivative it is N6 perfuryl amino purine. And these N6 uh, uh, perfuryl amino purines are adenine derivative. Later on, they were able to isolate first cytokinin from plant source that is from corn kernel and coconut milk. It was named as zeatin. Zia refers to scientific name of corn is zea maize, hence it was named as zeatin. So this is our discovery of how cytokinin took place. I hope you have liked the video. Thank you.